What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thanks for the continued support. Going to bring you guys an iconic uh, song lesson right now. We've got Under the Bridge by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is part one. Part two is on the way. Don't worry. But we're going to learn that, that really beautiful intro right now. Also, just thanks for supporting me right here at Marty Music. Uh, liking the video, sharing, leaving comments, spreading the word here. Thank you so much. Let's zoom in. Break this down. Here we go. All right. So there's... Uh, a, a D major chord that is a real challenge to play in this song. So I recommend you getting comfortable with this chord. Uh, the way I learned this intro was I practiced it a little bit every day for a while with no rush to get it mastered. And that's what I recommend you do as well. It takes a little getting used to this chord. It's a D major chord, but it's like, a, it's like playing a C major chord with these fingers and then your index is almost like a capo on the second fret. So it'd be ring finger on five, I'm sorry, pinky on five, ring finger on four. Index is covering the second fret of the G, and then middle finger's on the third of the B. So you wanna really get used to that shape. It's a little unusual. Definitely a challenge for guys with shorter fingers. But that's what you want. The next chord you want is F sharp major, which is barring the second fret. And then this looks like an E major shape. So, you know, uh, fourth fret, fourth fret, third fret, bar. So the whole intro revolves around this chord and this chord with some picking and some little walking bass lines, right? I'm sure you're familiar with the sound of it. So let's practice this. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch, I'm not using a pick, we're gonna pinch the A string and the B string as we hold this chord. So that's the first thing you wanna do. And they're the same note actually, an octave apart. Then you wanna play that F sharp major, and you're gonna pinch the E string and the B string. So a great thing to just start getting used to. And just keep practicing that. A little tip on that first chord is if you're uh, chording elbow, move your elbow in and you can see how what it does to my hand. If I move my elbow in, goes like that. You almost want it this way to be able to reach. So pinch the A and the B, and then pinch the E and the B on that chord. Okay, let's continue. Like I said, just practice a little bit every day and then you'll get it. So after that pinch, my thumb goes over to the D string. I'm holding this chord. Then my index, my right index finger is then gonna play the G string. Sometimes you, uh, if you wanna just use the tip of your index to just cover the second fret of the G, that works too. There's gonna be a time where that note's in there though, so just be prepared. Then thumb back to the D. Look at my right hand there. Sorry. Finally, while I'm still holding that chord, we hit the B and the B string, then the G string. So you put that all together, you get this. Really slow, pinch.
how do you get used to that? And that's kind of, you know, one of the harder chords to play. And then we're going to go like this. We're going to climb down a scale here, and it's going to start on the fourth fret of the A string, then second fret, then fifth on the E, then fourth, and then second. But when we play that second fret, we don't just play the note by itself. Well, we're going to pick the note by itself, but we're going to immediately form that F sharp major chord because we're actually going to pinch the E string and the B string when we get to it. Like that. The B and the low E. So when we put that all together, it looks like this. Okay, now with that F sharp, we, we start with that pinch on the E and the B, and then we hit the A string, then the D string, so. So the pinch on the E and the B, A string, D string, then back to the A string, then G string, then D string. put that all together So here's the real challenge here. We're going to play this line, which is going to start on the fourth of the D, second fret D, fifth fret A, second fret A. So let's do everything up to that. So here's what I found the easiest way to play this part, is when I hit the second fret of the A string, I don't just go, as soon as I hit that, I have these with it, which is part of this chord, but just this portion of it. And the reason is because we're going to have to really quickly get over to a weird thing where the pinky's sliding up from the fourth to the fifth on the A string while we're pinching the third fret of the B. Sounds like this. So when we play four, two, five, two, we're just playing this second fret of the A string by itself, but we want middle finger to immediately come down on the third fret of the B and ring finger on the fourth of the D as we bar this, because we have to then immediately kind of tuck our pinky over to the fourth fret of the A string, and we're gonna be pinching the A and the B string, and we just, with one pinch, I'm just going like this. So that has to be ready for the next picking part. Here's what it looks like all together. See that, it's all ready to go.
Now let's do it from the top. So once I get the slide, then just because my fingers are pretty short and it's easier for me to get a clean note right there, after I've done, oops, let me get that right. After I've done this, I've practiced immediately getting my index finger over to just the second fret of the G. And I think you will find, and I actually saw John Frusciani do it this way. Well, actually, he, he doesn't bar it at all. He just got it right there. But I've seen that that's... He does it more like that than a bar. It's more like that. I'm using both ways because I found that the quickest way for me to learn it. Because what we have to do here is we hit the D and the A. And then the G. As I'm going, I move it over. So look at that pattern here. D, A, G, D. And as soon as we do that, pinky comes off and we're still holding this shape. You don't want to be barring it. This little inverted D chord right here we're going to go so that middle finger's on that third of the B and I'm going like this I'm hammering on and pulling off the fifth fret of the B string with my pinky that middle finger is planted right there and that finger's right there on the second fret of the G and you're going to pluck that next so but we got to have this shape going so check it out I'm still holding that the pinky comes back down and I'm just gonna do a little pinch on the A and I'm holding this kind of chord here but I'm gonna pinch the A and D string and then slide it up a whole step and then pinch it again so when you put that all together from that climb down Then right to that F sharp, but you get to not learn something new here. So let's take it from the top nice and slow. So once you've done that same line here and the slide pinch here, then you go D, A, G, D, B, G. It's just picking through. Very similar to the first one, but you have that little bass line. the same with 
with the trill. Now the little double stop on the A and D. And then the F sharp. And all it does right before it goes into the it does on the F sharp chord does the same thing as every time. But it does that. So the pinch on the E and B A D So it does G D A G D A twice. G D A G D A. Sometimes I feel right. Let's try it from the top really slow and see if you can uh, play along. Here we go. there was the lesson thanks again for your continued support uh, really appreciate it spreading the word on Marty music leaving comments liking the videos sharing the videos just getting the word out there I really appreciate it you guys and uh, we'll see you in a new video real soon see you later